new onset neck pain, cervical spine issues. You may wake up with a kink in your neck and severe pain in the neck. Some of the things we look for in the history is, is the pain going down your arm? Do you have any clumsiness of your hands, loss of fine motor control, any bowel or bladder issues, any balance issues? Anything like that sets off a red flag that you may have a herniation hitting the nerve or the spinal cord that should have an urgent workup. Either go to the ER or go to your local doctor. As far as if it's new onset neck pain and there's no neurologic components, just right in the neck and it's killing you, it happens all the time. We all wake up with it, especially as we get older. The, uh, so how do we manage it? Typically, we start with oral medications to decrease the pain and inflammation. So anti-inflammatories, non-steroidal, prednisone, nerve medications like gabapentin, muscle relaxants, pain relievers. Those medications are individual for each person. It depends on your medical history and what type of pain you have, and you need to see your doctor to know which one. But typically, the goal is to decrease the pain and inflammation, to buy us time to get this problem to go away on its own. And so what causes the pain typically? Typically you get a tear in the disc. The disc is in the front and the disc is really the workhorse of the spine. Most of all the stress goes through the disc. The disc is also richly innervated, which means it has a lot of nerve endings going to the disc. If you get a tear in the disc, it hurts like hell. It releases these acidic chemicals that irritate the nerves, cause the muscles to lock down and to go into spasm to stop you from moving. Your body's trying to tell you, stop whatever you're doing. Don't move, don't make this worse. Because what can happen is the herniation can get bigger. You can get a tear that a piece breaks off and hits a nerve or your spinal cord, which may require surgery and may cause a neurologic deficit. So listen to your body. When you're in pain, stop what you're doing, go slow. Take the medications to get the muscles to relax, but don't take the medications to numb the pain and go out and act crazy. So you want to lay low and don't stress your neck. Don't get stuck in one position and give your body a break. Once your pain settles down, then typically we start the physical therapy of doing postural exercises. You get your core strong, do scapula stabilization, get the muscles to take some stress off the neck and decrease the pain. If you're not getting better, we may do an injection in your neck, a cortisone a steroid injection in the neck, either an epidural, nerve root block, facet joint injection, and those can help to temporarily break some of the inflammation and pain to allow you to do the physical therapy exercises better. There's also chiropractor, acupuncture, laser, decompressive machines, a lot of treatments that can help break some of this inflammation and pain to allow you to do the exercise program. If we can help in any way, you have two options at this point. One is email us at info at watkinspine.com or you can watch the cervical rehabilitation video. Thank you.